Hi Abhiram, welcome to the session. How are we? How are you? Great, Abhiram. Um, let's just wait for other participants to join in for another five minutes. Then we will start the session. Okay. Thank you. Hi Radhika, welcome to the session Radhika. How have you been Radhika? Hello, hi Shivam, welcome to the session. How have you been?
yes, Abhiram, I will share the calendar. It is already ready with me. So I'm definitely going to share it. Uh, either by tonight or tomorrow morning, Abhiram. Yes, Shivam, on Tuesday we are going to have your first class, Shivam, Radhika and Anand, uh, for Anand. We are going to have the first class on Tuesday. Calendar, uh, Radhika, we are talking about the topics that we need to cover and when. Yes, same timing, Shivam. 8.30. Okay. So guys, uh, let's just start the session. Okay, guys, please let me know first uh, whether you have tried creating the YouTube marketing, uh, YouTube ad campaign. Radhika says no. How about others? Not yet. Okay, so guys, any doubt, any query from the last session, guys? No, that goes for everyone. No doubt, no query. Shall we start then? Okay, great guys. So let's move. Uh, let's start with Google Analytics guys. So today we are going to do Google Analytics. Okay, so guys what Google Analytics will basically help you in. Google Analytics will help you to track the traffic of your website okay so it's a tool by google which helps you to see how many people, people have visited your website okay Yes, yeah, you can track only traffic and you can track your traffic through various uh, various tools like where, uh, how much traffic you have received through SEO, how much traffic you have received through AdWords, like ad campaigns, social media. So like it will help you to track from different channels, right? So you can track your traffic through different channels, online channels. So that plays a very important role to which gives you which gives you the data on how many people has actually visited your website, right? So guys, to make Google Analytics active on your website, how to make Google Analytics active on your website right because guys we need to make uh, analytics active on our website so that they can track each and every visit of a user right so that's the reason we need to uh, activate google analytics on our website so for that there is a tracking code right there's a tracking code which is given by google analytics 
okay which we which we need to add on our website so once this traffic tracking code is added after which you can track the traffic which is coming onto your website make sense guys is it getting clear abiram radhika shivam okay great so guys to activate the tracking code uh, guys do you have any website where uh, the tracking code is not added yet or something any one of you has a website uh, radhika says yes radhika can you please share the link is it on wordpress radhika yeah great great yeah so please tell me the link because on my websites everywhere where uh, this code is uh, added so i want to showcase on a fresh website so that you guys understand how to connect your website through google analytics can you share the link of your website and the credentials wordpress credentials if you don't mind yeah please share it quickly so that we don't waste any more time you have to log in through godaddy uh why is that so uh is it on wordpress right you don't have wordpress login oh okay okay not a problem uh what you can do is uh i'll just give you a control here you can type in here right i'll just give you a control radhika please go ahead and type in here i have given you the access you can type in can you see google radhika are you yeah please go ahead and type in okay we are waiting for you Hi Ritesh, welcome to the session. You are a bit late today. No problem. We have just started with Google Analytics. I have just told them what Analytics is. Actually, Analytics will help you to track the traffic of your website, right, and the channels through which you are receiving the traffic. 
they are different channels like SEO, AdWords, social media. So through all these channels, you can track your traffic of your website, right? And to track the traffic for that, you have to link your Google Analytics to the website, right? So Google Analytics will give you a tracking code which you need to add on your website. Once the tracking code is added on your website, then uh, you will start receiving the data. Okay, so I'm just telling uh, today how to connect your analytics to website. Okay, so Rabika has got a fresh website and we are using her website where I'm going to upload the tracking code. Okay, Ritesh, is it? You have any query? Okay. Yeah, so uh, what right now is happening is uh, Radhika is opening her website. Okay, it's a Word, uh, WordPress based website. So we are going to use her website to showcase how to connect tracking code. Okay. Okay, there you go. So uh, this is your website, right, Radhika? There's nothing as of now, okay. Okay, guys. So now I log into Google Analytics. That is right. So I want uh, Radhika to enter your login credentials here in the analytics, your Gmail credential. So guys, you can access your analytics through Gmail account. All right, now I have been logged. Let me just sign it out. So I'll just remove all these accounts first. So guys, you have to remove all these accounts. Okay, the existing accounts. Uh, because we don't want Google to take, uh, you know, uh, open through any other account. That's the reason we are just deleting it. We are just starting afresh and we will open with a new ID. We don't want to confuse Google Analytics, right, with other credentials. So Radhika, can you please type in your details here, your email ID? Uh, hi, Vino. Welcome to the session. You have got an email in regards to what? Vino, I didn't understand. So, Radhika, are you already registered here? Have you used uh, Google Analytics earlier, Radhika? No, we know this is not a demo session. It's a class is going on right now. Radhika, have you used earlier? No. Okay. E 
uh, we know you can join from Tuesday. We are starting a batch on Tuesday. Okay, so guys, click on sign up. Oh, no, no, why are we signing up here? Okay, so guys, uh, when you click on sign up, you have to give these details, right? So when you start using the Google Analytics and you are going to use it for the first time, then all these details will be asked for the very first time. So give your name like my account name so you can give the details like personal website so we uh, like Radhika do you want to name here your account name or I can just give your name Radhika okay and website name Radhika Hi, Gaurav. Welcome to the session. You're very late today. How come? Oh, okay. Vasu. And can you please type in your website URL here? I hope everything is good, Gaurav, at your end. Okay. Great. That's great. So Gaurav, we have just started with Google Analytics. Uh, Radhika, can you please type in your website URL? What we are doing is we are just linking right now analytics with, with your website. Radhika, okay. Yes, I'm doing the sign up and we are using Radhika's ID. Though I wanted to use yours because uh, as you as you were late today, so I use Radhika's ID. Uh, I right and because I want to showcase the login credentials for very first user who who, who is using for the very first time. Okay. So once you enter the website name, website URL, select the category of your website. Um, Radhika, you are best judge. Please tell me uh, in which category this will fall. Infrastructure, okay. Infrastructure, do we have that? I don't think we have real estate, okay. Okay, guys, so you have to make sure that the time zone that you set here has to be same as Google AdWords, right? So guys, please make sure the time zone which you have on Google AdWords, it should match with Google AdWords only, right? Otherwise, the data will not be in sync. Guys, select the reporting time zone. Let's say India. Is it okay, uh, Radhika? Because you can't change this at later stage. I have set India, right? And this is the time zone which is automatically set. So guys, this is how you will first sign up on Google Analytics, right? And then these are the uh, services like uh, subscribership if you guys want to. Uh, receive the data on these topics you can check that otherwise you can uncheck that and click on get tracking id okay guys so click on get tracking id so when you click on get tracking id this is what message you are going to get and click on i accept so guys this is the tracking code that you will get 
this is the tracking code guys if your website is on wordpress you can see this message for wordpress godaria wix you can use this tracking code and if your website is on html then you will receive this code and this code has to be copy and pasted on each and every web page of your website okay if it is on html this is the tracking code so guys as i told you that through tracking code only is breaking uh my voice is breaking for everyone or only radhika is facing this problem abhiram says no uh radhika can you please check at your end okay great so guys as i told you earlier that through tracking code only you can you uh, through tracking code only you can link your website and google analytics right so guys when you receive this tracking code just copy and paste copy from here and then paste it on your wordpress so wordpress website yeah here it is so guys for wordpress where you will paste this code go to plugins guys and click on add new okay when click on add new find google analytics guys so guys this is these are the plugins that you are going to find so uh, i will suggest you to go with google analytics this one by share this because this uh, one we have already used and this is tried and tested and we are quite comfortable but still if you want to use any other i can give any reviews for any other um you know plugin this is the best one that we have used for uh, so far so click on install now uh we know if you want to leave the session you can leave it's up to you if you want to attend that's okay and then uh, once you install guys then click on activate okay so now your plugin has been activated guys come here now you will see here google analytics this has been added here in the left menu bar guys in the left menu bar you will see google analytics plugin which is just installed click here go to settings you can uh, click from here also settings and guys now just click on manually enter tracking id So guys enter your tracking id which you have just copied from analytics window this id to be copied here in the wordpress plugin okay so we don't want to exclude tracking for roles like it's like giving permission to other people right so we just keep it open and let's save the changes and now once it is installed your settings saved okay you will receive this message your settings are saved guys any doubt any query till now till here are you guys clear how you can copy your tracking id and paste it in the wordpress window guys clear yes corps says yes clear yes okay great guys so now coming back to analytics guys now all website data so now can you see here that your website is added vasu right let me just go to the properties so click on all website data so currently uh, there is no audience right now guys so i would ask you please open this url guys can you open it guys can you please open 
वासु इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर राइस so when you guys open this url you will start receiving this live information that we how many people have logged in guys can you see now one person one user have logged in can you please all of you try opening this url uh, vasu infrastructure dot in yes thank you radhika yeah i did so now guys can you see three of them so at Uh, users you can see right now on your site this is your real time information guys so if anyone try to log in from mobile then you get to see mobile also like the number of people who have joined or looking at the website through mobile does it make sense guys Great. <coughs> is it clear? Making sense? This is how you can link your website to your Google Analytics account. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So probably the window is not open. So you can see now twenty five percent, which is mobile. it might take some time to lock out okay yes guys so this is how you can track your real time no uh, from which place uh it will show you the demographics let me just log in now from the different website where i can show you more of data this was just to showcase you guys from the fresh account how to connect okay now i'm going to show you different account where there is lot of data okay Okay, guys. So this is a different account. Please keep yourself in mute, guys. Okay. So from this account, I am going to show you the analytics. guys this was uh, this was one of our client which is maxb.com okay so here you can see the real time so this is the real time data per minute per second guys mobile desktop and tablet so at top locations also you can see through which locations they are
This was our previous. Hmm, I can remember now uh, the type of website they are using. Actually, this is very old customer of an organization which I have not handled. I can just see uh, in which uh, what is the website is all about. Yeah, they are into electronic items like mobile and spare parts and all. Okay. So you can see all the active pages, like which are the top active pages which your users are visiting actively. Okay. So this is through social traffic, like social website traffic. There is no data for this view. And these are the top keywords through which they have logged in. Okay. Through these keywords, they have logged in or reached to that website. Okay. And location. So city plano and active users. So you can see from Plano there are active users which are nine. Make sense? For a particular location you can see So here, if I click for other location to track, only one active user from G, five right now, five. There are five users. Make sense, guys? Okay, locations. So guys, this here, when you come on locations tab, that will give you all the country details to which uh, different users are logged in. So guys, when I click on India, I will further go into from which different states or cities their people are logged in. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to show you that traffic sources, basically. So can you see here from organic, which is SEO, because organic is SEO, Google, which source is Google, right? So you can see here, there are people who come, who landed just direct. They just opened the website, which is 44%. Right, and organic through Google and organic through Yahoo, Yahoo search. They have used Yahoo search one user and this is cost per click that is through AdWords, guys. Through AdWords. Is it clear, Radhika, now? Because you can track people from different channels. They are coming. They are coming. So as I told you in my document, so this is how you can track from different channels. Make sense?
So if I just look for all the traffic, so now I can see. No, social media will not come in organic. That is different. Social media uh, is different. That is like referral, Google web light, referral websites. Yeah, those are different re uh, referral websites. So Google web light has actually referred this link. Okay, so it's like in your website, you have mentioned some link. So people might land on your website through inbound links. So if you guys remember, we have talked about inbound links, right? So if you mention your uh, like any other person website name in your website name, right? Yeah, so this is how they are coming to this website, which is called referral. Yeah, you can say like coupon websites. Okay, so you can see the audience also. Number of users. So guys, this is the data that you can see users like number of users who have actually logged into your website, who has actually checked your website. These many users who have come to your website, you can change the date range also. This by default shows for a week time and you can change for a particular month's time, okay, or for two months time, you can edit the date range. Okay, and based on the date range, the information or data will be showcased. And guys, you can compare also. So let's say I want to compare, okay, let's say I want to compare for April, Oh, sorry, from April, yeah, not March. So it's gonna compare to previous period. So if I select here me, right and end date is may 31st so the, these two months will be compared okay so guys if i say apply so here it will show you the session like in blue color you can see the current month and this orange is for previous month Okay, and this is the increase in the percentage, guys. Can you see? So there is the increase. Yeah, okay, I'll just tell you guys what this session. Let me just directly come here. Last week or last month. So guys, these are the number of users who have logged into your website and they are they have opened these many sessions, right? So from particular user might be a possibility that a particular user has opened two sessions, right? Like two times they have opened your website. User will be counted as one only, right? One user and if that person has opened two sessions, like two times they have opened the website in a particular day so or in a complete week it will be treated as a session like number of sessions make sense user is a particular person and if one particular person has actually opened twice or thrice right so for that particular uh, that will increase the number of sessions so these many users have actually logged and these many sessions you have got
is the user tracking on IP address basis? Uh, yes, basically, uh, there are many other criteria also, like how they can track the, yeah, I'm coming to each of these. Uh, don't worry, Ritesh, I'll cover. Uh, through IP address also and through cookies and all. Okay. Page views, like particular user, how many times he has actually, like different pages he has viewed of your website. So these many views you have got for a particular view page from these many users. So there are chances like particular user has actually viewed all the pages of your website or some pages of your website or just one page of your website. Okay. So now here you can see pages divide by sessions, which is 4.51. Like these are like pages there. If there are, uh, these are the page views they have got and this is the session. So if we divide, we get this page per session, basically. Pages per session, guys. Session. Okay. Uh, was it not clear, Abhinam? So let's say I have visited this website earlier also and now again I am looking at this website or let's say I'll just close this website and reopen this website. Then the session will increase but not the user is not increasing because I'm the same user and opening it number of time, right? So if I open twice or thrice, then my session will increase, not the user will increase. Make sense? Is it clear to everyone, guys? Okay. Then guys, bounce rate. So this is the duration, average duration, like for how much duration a person has stayed on your website, okay? And bounce rate, guys. Let's say I have just opened and I have not done much and I have not seen any other page of this website and then spend much of the time and I have just closed it that is bounce rate so basically we have to reduce the bounce rate we have to make sure that bounce rate should not be higher because that gives negative impression guys so if i just open and close a website right i have just opened this and i have closed this so the bounce rate will increase for this website Okay, and we have to make sure because we want people to come and stay on our website for a longer period. And if we are getting the higher bounce rate, that means people are not staying on our website. Clear, guys? Clear to everyone, bounce rate, that is very important part and we have to make sure how to reduce bounce rate then uh, that really depends Ritesh on uh, the kind of content you have on your website. So you have to make sure that the content is relevant and it is informative and new or fresh content you are providing to people and if they find your website more attractive, more structured, organized with then definitely they will stay on your website. Okay, and if it is not relevant and doesn't make any sense, then people will definitely just open and close it quickly. Uh, no, uh, you will not be able to know what he is doing, but you just can know, yes, he uh, like one user is there on your website. Okay. Make sense, guys? 
can see the active users. So here you can see a one day active user. So let's say it's showing me for data for May 29, May 30, 31st, June. One day, uh, these many active users was there after seven days active users for 14 days and 30 days active users. No, Abhiram, you'll not get to know right now, like on which page he is, right? He's visiting. So you just can know like what I've told you the real time when you go to overview, there you get to see the top active pages. You just see the link of the pages which are most active, but you don't get to know which user is on which page right now. Yes, you will get to know how many conversions has happened that even Google AdWords will get uh, will tell you if you are getting through con uh, AdWords. But if you have the tracking code or the landing page, then you can get to know the conversions also. Yes, Radhika, you can have multiple websites. There are in total, you can have 100 websites on one analytics account, 100 websites. So uh, Google has given you that functionality because so that you don't just uh, switch over to different websites. You can have one analytics account with 100 websites. I hope that answer your question. how to add new tracking ID. You can add a new tracking ID to settings only. So let's just This is your account. You can see these many have already added here. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll just do that. Guys, can you see I'm into administration? Uh, I can't see your chat, guys. Uh, just to say, uh -oh. what's wrong? Guys, mm, where is the chat? Okay, here it is. Can you see screen? Uh, okay. No, okay, let me just go back and then show you to you again. So guys, okay, again, I'll just go back. I was here on this screen, right? 
yes was this available like have you seen this screen guys everyone okay just go to admin can you see this left panel admin yes okay click on admin guys now here you can see uh, this is the current account which we were on maxb.com and this is the list of the accounts and now to create new account click on create new account okay so now here add the details so we can add a new account here this is how you can add and then click on get tracking id uh if we have the uh, details of the website then definitely i can add one but this is from radhika's account or oh, not on uh, radhika but uh, from our account okay i hope you got the concept gorav now it's very easy just click on get tracking id and then add that tracking id on the wordpress account okay clear guys so every time we are getting new id definitely for every website shivam you are going to get a new tracking id because the tracking id will remain unique for each website only then you can track your website data right so that's the reason it will remain unique oh, where is the guys this is how you can look for the information okay and when you go to uh, acquisitions there you get to see all traffic source medium which i have already told you through which you are getting your traffic these sources different sources right and here you are getting this information like number of sessions for each Uh, like from SEO, from CPC, from Bing, from different websites, right? And this, the percentage of new sessions and new users. Again, you can check the bounce rate, pages per session. This is the complete information that you get for e different channels, right? And if you just want to see the adverts through which adverts, you can see the campaigns. these are the campaigns which were created by this company and they are getting this information like the number of clicks they have got the cost this is again the same guys that we have covered in google ad adwords social media actually uh, quite No, uh, not through basically social media, but you can get to know through SEO and uh, like organic and adverts campaigns. Okay. Make sense, guys. so now can i just show you how you can connect or uh, how you can connect the webmaster social media traffic would be see social media traffic one would be the organic and the other would be the campaign if you are running right the facebook campaign if you are running the paid advertisement or linkedin paid advertisement that all reporting you get within facebook and uh, linkedin 
reports not here okay and now uh, let me just show you how you can connect the webmaster webmaster is a search console earlier it used to be we used to call webmaster as search console guys uh, let because i have signed on from my session so webmaster is basically a tool which only helps you to track the traffic from seo it's only specifically for search engine optimization the traffic that you are getting through search engine optimization whereas in google analytics you can track all the traffic which is coming through different channels like seo and uh, adwords okay whereas and different websites also like referral traffic and whereas here uh, in webmaster you can only track seo traffic okay webmaster guys webmasters so uh, earlier it used to be called webmasters but now the other name which is given is search console no it is more in detail abhiram a uh, webmaster will give you more detail it's more in detail like backlinks you can check the backlinks of your website as i told you i have told you about moz pro right for checking the backlinks similarly this webmaster will also show you the backlinks of your website okay but uh, the moz do shows you the complete list of the backlinks whereas uh, this webmaster will not show you in uh, that much you know uh, the detail of your backlinks it will show you but not all the backlinks so this is the search console which we are already using so i would request again radhika to uh, just open your account let me just close all the windows guys let's just remove the account again uh we'll just keep this open okay uh okay radhika can you please go ahead and enter your credentials uh, yes radhika you have given the rights okay okay i have given you again please go ahead So guys, this is how you get to see. Welcome to Search Console. Can you see? This is the new name for Google Webmaster. Okay. So here you can add a property. Let's just uh, who is playing the music, guys? Uh, Search Console. Okay. So here let's just enter the URL of your website.
is it right in trans yeah even i can hear you saying is guys shivam yes so yeah radhika is it right vaso infrastructure dot in okay so guys please enter the url of your website here and click on add property click on add a property so guys here you can link your uh, search console or webmaster to your wordpress website in different ways this is recommended one and there are some alternate methods also which are available okay so there are different methods which are available but i will suggest you to go with google analytics because we have just done that we through tracking code and uh, on clicking on google analytics we just click on verify Hmm. It says it says. Uh oh. Okay, not a problem. Let's just do it again. Or we can use other method also. Okay. So let's just verify again. alternate method uh, there is some problem which is coming through google analytics in that case we just use html tag and when you use html tag guys just copy and paste copy this link this complete code copy and now guys we are going to go on the wordpress website this is uh, we have logged in through radhika's id only and now we are again going to install a new plugin for webmaster guys click on add new now let's search for webmaster so these are the options which are coming guys webmaster uh, i'm going to do a uh, on the select the same one which i use webmasters basically mm. i am not being able to see that in let's go to the next page and see that particular plugin Not able to find. Let's just say Google Webmaster. So guys, I believe it's this Google uh, Easy Google Webmaster tool. Let's just install this, guys. As you can see, there are number of Webmaster tools which are available, but these are one which is tried and tested. So let me just activate now. So now you can see the plug is plugin is activated. Here you can see on the left hand side menu bar the webmaster option. Click on webmaster. And here I'm going to paste uh, copy and paste the this just copy and paste it here 
Okay, and then save changes. So you can see the settings saved. Guys, any doubt till here? Is it making sense, guys? Yes, okay, so now you guys can link both your Google Analytics to your website and also on the search console or the webmaster, right? So this is how you can do that. And now coming back here. Okay. So now I click on verify. So now you can see it is being verified. Okay, and here if I want to add a new property or a new website, I can add. So now uh, this website is being added. So there is no data as of now guys, because this is the new. So you can see the crawling errors, there are none. Gaurav, it is very useful in the sense. One, uh, let me just open the document. Just give me a minute. Oh, sorry, Radhika, it's opening your account. I'm just quickly signing it out. There are many users of this console or search console. I'm just coming to it. Guys, the practical things I'm going to showcase you for Search Console in my next session. Okay, uh, today I'll just tell you the use of this because it's gonna take some time. One is guys, you can activate. So guys, as I told you about robot file, do you remember robot tag guys? No follow, no, no index, guys. You remember? So, guys, firstly, this will help you to add this robot file on your uh, website, right? Yeah, Shivam, I know you will not uh, knowing this because uh, we have not done SEO with you. So, don't worry about that. We are going to cover with you. And uh, how about the other students? Guys, you remember no index, no follow tag. Yes, so sim, this file we have to upload here, okay? We are going to get this robot file code from the console, from the WordPress, okay? And then there is a robot editor file, okay? That is, we are going to find the plugin on WordPress, okay? And we are going to upload within our WordPress site. And there we will add no follow tag or no index tag for the web pages which we don't want Google or Google to come and index those pages, right? So this will help you in this. And also the sitemaps here, you, you can see the sitemap, you can submit the sitemap here, guys. Uh-oh. 
because I have logged in from my account, so it's not giving me that option. Site map, Abhiram site map. Hope you guys remember what a site map. Site map of a website, guys, you remember. I have shown you every website has to have a site map where they will show all the pages, the list of all the web pages that exist in their website. Okay. Where is the console? Uh -oh, not this one. Radhika, can we just re log in or okay? I'll just log in from different account. Let's just let me just log in from. So these are different websites. So guys, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Uh, this thing, the robot text file, how you can upload the code and no index tag on your website in my next session, okay? So you can see here the sitemaps details, like these are the URLs which are submitted. These, these many URLs which are indexed out of 164, only 120, 119 URLs which are indexed by Google guys. And the number of warnings you are getting because here you get to see all the detailed information about SEO guys. Search engine optimization. So here you can see the number of clicks you have got through this on a particular day. So total clicks you have got this much. Warnings like Google uh, gives you a lot of warnings. Like if you don't follow something or something is not getting uh, like tracked by Google. So Google give, gives warning onto that information. Okay. So guys, here you can see. So people who have searched with these queries like Adapt Software India, they have got these many clicks from these keywords. Basically, these are the set of keywords, guys. Can you see and the number of clicks they have got? You can see the impressions, total impressions. They have got 311 and 154 clicks. Making sense, guys. You can see the CTR, which is click through rate, the position where your website is ranking average first position, guys, first position for this keyword. Or I can compare the queries. Yes, you can see the CTR through SEO also because you have to see how many impressions you are getting and the number of clicks you are getting. Yes.
making sense guys and these are the pages on which you are getting clicks of your website guys and the impression ctr and the position you are getting for these pages make sense you can filter through countries also guys you're getting clicks from these many countries india uae bahrain us thailand uk none but the impressions you're getting mostly you're getting from india devices guys mobile tablet desktop uh, this is one of our existing customer abiram they are into software industry they deal into sharepoint microsoft softwares so it's their website so you can see even the position they are getting on so let's say if again i go back to queries i can also compare like query is exactly this is the query and i can enter different query also so these are the links that you are getting pinterest pinterest so guys these are the back links i would say yeah i'm going to cover this in detail or of like how you can upload the robot text file but i'm just showing you how you can read the data okay so here you can see the backlinks and these are the pages which are linked most can you see so about adapt-india.com has been mentioned more on like pinterest pinterest.se blogspot youtube so all these links backlinks they have got make sense and these are the web pages which have got the links the back links and the internal links also the links which are mentioned internally so these are the links which are mentioned internally internal website check the google index status so these many times your web page or your website is indexed by google make sense uh so yes guys this is about your search console and the analytics in search console i'm just going to show you in my next class how you can upload the robot file okay in order to prevent your website if you don't want any particular web page not to be indexed by google okay making sense
गाइज आर यू ऑल देयर अभी राम गौरव राधिका रितेश शिवम आर यू गाइज विद मी यस ओके ग्रेट सो यस ओके any doubt guys any queries no no great so gorab i would want you to because you have a website please uh, link your website with google analytics and search console yeah don't worry shivam i'm going to take it take that again in next class or oh, you already did that for a great okay just now or earlier only you have done that okay okay great that's great uh reports like you want to or you want reports in your email or something okay i'll cover that google analytics report yes in excel i'll cover that in my next class do make me remember i'll uh, take that up okay just remind me once in the next class i'll take that up okay Okay, guys. So I'll just wind up this session today a few minutes earlier because there's something that I have to look look after. Okay. So, guys, let's catch up. Yes, on Monday. Same timings with the same link, guys. Thank you so much for your time and your dedication. I really appreciate. Yeah, we know. Uh, we know you were there with us today. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, you can attend both the days, Radhika. It's up to you. You can start from Tuesday. Uh, Rad, uh, we know. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, we know. You can select a domain and. Uh, we are going to help you to buy that domain and also provide you themes and hosting okay thank you gaurav thanks for your time today please contact nisha nisha for that uh, we know she will uh, make you speak to srishti good night everyone thank you so much uh gor can i uh, connect later on this because i just have to uh, okay i'll talk with srishti i'll take that up with srishti and you don't worry okay okay guys thank you for now and let's connect on monday with the same link same timings bye for now have a good night guys bye take care guys